four of uh, girls volleyball division two. I'm Ben Smith alongside Will Bouvier today. You know, we're excited for a great matchup today. Both teams, uh, Dartmouth at number four seed and Westboro at the number one seed in the division two. And right now, um, what are you expecting today, Will? I'm expecting fireworks here today. I'm expecting a highly competitive matchup between two really tough, great teams. Uh, they're, the, they're highly ranked for a reason, and I expect a tough, grueling matchup and great play between both teams. Yeah, you know, with strikers like uh, Ava Crane, Adeline Ablett, they're, you know, they're having a great season so far, you know, and p potentially their final game, but we got to show like a lot of uh, positivity right now, like you know. And if the winner, whoever's the winner today, will be going to Worcester State for the uh, final uh, the state championship. Um, the state championship uh, is Saturday, November nineteenth. So hopefully we will be there. So I'm excited for to see what happens. Of course, and the Indians come in this matchup as the underdog today but I believe most fans wouldn't view them as an underdog in more of an equal matchup today with how good both teams have been playing. Yeah, they've been pretty good so far. Um, if you can see um, with the number one seed uh, Rangers, they got a lot of class of 2024s on their roster. There's also some freshmen too as well. There's only like, as far as I see, um, a lot of seniors on this team as well. Um, they're introducing the teams right now, the roster for the Dartmouth, of course. And that was your Dartmouth Indians being introduced there. Um, so let's, as a matter of fact, um, you know, Will could be, this could potentially be your last time commentating for volleyball games. It was a good run for you, right? Yeah, it was a great run. Um, I had a lot of fun here. I've said it a million times, but again, shout out to my sister for being the reason why I want to do this yeah. with volleyball. And uh, let's hope this isn't the last matchup, though, for the Indians. Yeah, your sister was a libero from this team, and she was a very good libero as well. Yeah. Yes. She was very good on defense, great defensive player, yes. and, you know, you and her moving on in life too as well. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's gonna be sad for your parents, like your mother and father, but you know, you know, and you've been thinking of doing like UFC and stuff like that after this. Yeah, uh, but of course, keeping that aside, but but we gotta keep positive. So, um, Westboro Rangers were just announced. So folks, we're gonna hang tight for a sec. Um, right now we're gonna do our national anthem right now. We thank you for your service to our country. Oh, they're honoring some veterans. Thank them for their service as well, of course. Hang tight folks, we're gonna do our national anthem.
There was your national anthem, folks. So, folks, you know, honoring our great country here um, and potentially the final game for Ava Crane, Lauren Augusto, Aaron Jasparo, Sophia Dias, um, all those players. Um, losing four seniors uh, this year as well. Of course. I got through all fours. Yeah. All on the first try, I was gonna, thought I missed one, but. Yep. As you can see here, folks, both teams are very focused and are very excited Big for this matchup. Big crowd show out Big tonight. Crowd Courtesy of the Franklin Panthers here in Franklin, Massachusetts. So folks, uh, please hang tight and enjoy this wonderful matchup between the Dartmouth Indians and the Westboro Rangers. You know, when the schedule first came out, I was, uh, when they said we're going to play Westboro, I thought we were going to be at Westboro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would have taken the trip up here to, uh, to taken the trip up to Westboro today. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's at Franklin High School a little closer to Westboro as well. And, you know, both crowds are out and about tonight. You know, both sides, student section, they're all on their feet right now, both sides as well. Yeah, as you can see, the Dartmouth student section wearing green representing the Indians and the Westboro Rangers. Uh, it appears it's jersey night as uh, they're all decorated in jerseys. So first to serve is Shannon Clark for the Westboro Rangers. And off we go from the final four. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point right away. A little too hard there by uh, Clark. Next up to serve is number 14, Ava Crane for Dartmouth. Now here's Crane to serve. Serves it over, and that's going to hit the net there. Tie game, one to one. I don't know if I've seen that yet. You know, to start a game, both teams botching their serves. I have not seen that either. So. Next up is number three, Cap Kate Capello there, and that's going to be a Dartmouth point again. Two to one Dartmouth. Great start for Dartmouth there. Of course. Now to serve is number seven, Haley Jenkins. Now Jenkins to serve. Serving it over the net there, up in the air there by Moore. Now serves in a kill attempt there, and now will successfully do it for Quinn Anderson. Great kill there, great athleticism. She got it high and got the kill. Next to serve, Shannon Clark. Uh, correction, number 16, Maggie Carden. Carden to serve, serves it over the net, and that's going to be out of bounds. Westboro now with three serves that landed out of bounds. They don't even look phased, yeah. though. And they tie with Dartmouth, and then Dartmouth scores the next point. Now Jasper to serve it over the net here. Up in the air from Capello. Touch over. And that's going to be a kill there for, for the Rangers. Quinn Anderson. Again, beautiful range there. She got up high. And, uh, These two know, number 14s are right dangerous. Uh, Dartmouth's number 14, Ava Crane, as Dartmouth's own number 14, Ava Crane. And, um, and Quinn Anderson as well. Serving yeah. it over the net. Uh, Crane able to get a hand on that ball. Uh, Davis serves it over the net there. Touch over, kill attempt, up in the air from Crane. Now Davis serves it over the net, up in the air from Moore. Touch over, off the net, and that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Beautiful play there. Great execution by Kate Capello. Yeah, Adeline Ablett for Dartmouth with the block there. She got up high and was able to block that. Yeah. Future's in good hands for Dartmouth. Now to serve is Davis. Serving it over the net, up in the air from Capello. Now serves it over. Anderson, a kill attempt again, and another kill there for Anderson. And this is the back and forth game that we would see today. Yeah, off Brooke Davis right there, number 22 on the Indians. Uh, just wasn't able to keep it in play. Like I said, I predicted this game going back and forth on both sides. Of course. Um, now to serve is Quinn Anderson, up in the air from uh, Augusto. Touches it over. Now bats it up. Now Anderson to s for a kill attempt, and she gets the kill. You see the effort? Velasquez, uh, great effort there, too, as well. Yeah, Velasquez displayed some great effort trying to get that ball there. 
Unfortunately, but was not able to come up with it. Once again, Quinn Anderson to serve for uh, Westboro. Anderson on the serve, and that's up in the air from Davis. Davis on the touch over, now serving over Capello. Off of Ablett, Augusto tips it over to Ablett, and Ablett on oh, the bounce. A little too hard there. Could have had the room there for Ablett, but to Norm Vale. Man, would have been an amazing kill if only it was in bounds. Now to serve is Quinn Anderson. Anderson on the serve, and that's going to be out of bounds, and that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Great eyes there by uh, Olivia Ruda. Yeah, that one looked a little closer than the pass serves from Westboro. <laughs> I don't know if we're up top or whatnot. Now to serve is the libero, number 13, Gabby Velasquez. Serves it over the net there from Addison uh, Moore. And Davis on the kill save. Now Crane, kill attempt. Yes, she does. And a Dartmouth ties it up here. That play very reminiscent of a previous play where it went off uh, Brooke Davis's hands, goes off. Westboro's hands. Once again, a serve is Gabby Velasquez. Now here's a, now here's a serve from Velasquez, serving over the net from uh, Moore. Now touching the air there from Augusto, an extraordinary effort from Lauren Augusto. Absolutely beautiful play there from Augusto. Westboro tried to keep it in play, went off a couple of their hands, was not able to stay in bounds. Extraordinary effort there from Lauren Augusto. Now Velasquez to serve. Serving it over the net, up in the air from Moore. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point once again. Again, just wasn't able to uh, come up for the Rangers. Went off their hands. A little bit upsetting there for Westboro. That's one that you would hate if you're a Westboro player right now. Yeah, definitely one they want to get back. And Velasquez serves it a little too hard there for Velasquez. And that's going to sail out of bounds. There's That's going to be a, a Rangers point there. Yeah, we've only seen that a couple of times so far today. Uh, just a little bit out of bounds. Can keep it inside. Now to serve is the libero number two, Addison Moore. Now Moore to serve. Serves it over the net. And that's going to sail out of bounds there. A little too hard there for Addison Moore. Nine to seven, Dartmouth. And we got a substitution change coming in. Aaron Jaspero is coming in for number four, uh, Olivia Aruda. I'll tell you, each team has some good judgment on uh, on where this ball is going to land. Yeah. Touch up there, and a kill attempt. Great save by Velasquez. Now Crane touches it over. Oh, and that's going to be a uh, Westboro point there. Unfortunate on that one. Indians wishing they probably could have had that. Extraordinary effort. Ava Crane could have got that point there if that was in bounds. I Touch up off of Augusto. Now Crane, kill attempt, and great save there. Now up in the air, kill attempt for the Rangers, unable to not to get it there. Now touch up, kill attempt, and that's going to be a kill for the uh, Rangers. Well, great back Georgia Tyrell there. Yeah, great back and forth play by both teams on that one. You know, right over the net. This is, this is the competitiveness I was hoping for and that I was talking about, expecting in today's game. Now here is Shannon Clark to serve. And saving it up there is Velasquez. Touch up in the air from Clark. Now Crane hits a net and keeping it alive there. Great effort by Lauren Augusto. Now kill attempt for Dartmouth. Great save there from uh, Crane. Now Velasquez serves it over the net, and that's going to go out of bounds. I mean, but how about those Indians there? Never gave up on that play. Ball went all around the court on their side, and they never gave up on it. Fortunately, couldn't come up with the point. A very important uh, thing that you got to know is play until the whistle is blown. Of course. That's the very important thing in sports. Touch over from Velasquez. Now Crane kill attempt, and that's going to go a little too far there. You know, you can't get every kill. Ava Crane has certainly got a lot of them, but that one just couldn't stay in bounds. Now to serve is Shannon Clark, serving it over the net from Clark. Touch up. Now Jasparo touches it over, and that's going to be a Westboro point. Oh, man. Not much to say there other than great play. Yeah.
Now serve from Clark. Touch up there. Now Augusto from Jenkins. Jenkins from the pop up there. And touch up in the air from Georgia. Tyrell Georgia and touch over there. Great effort there by the Rangers. Couldn't get kill attempt there for Ava Crane. That's one she's disliking right now. Yeah, and the Rangers have looked sharp on their last couple of plays. Gotten uh, a couple of crucial points here. Now to serve is Shannon Clark. Popped up in the air there. Now Crane hits it over the net, able to do that. And Augusto up in the air. Now Crane, kill attempt, and that's gonna go as a point for Dartmouth and a kill. Beautiful kill there for Ava Crane. Again, I don't know how many times you have to highlight it, but play until the whistle blows. Indians, again, not giving up on the ball, communicating, great teamwork there, and Ava Crane gets the kill for the Dartmouth point. That's something Coach Lassie probably said in one of her uh, practices. And, and that's going to be an ace there for Ava Crane. Beautiful play here. Dartmouth with two straight points with a great volleyball being played. Hopefully they can get more points after this. Let's see uh, Ava Crane a serve. Serving it over the net, and that's going to go a little too far for Ava Crane, and a little too hard there. Man, tough one, tough one. Wish you had those back. Indeed, you know. Now to serve is number three, Kate Capello. Now Capello to serve, serves it over the net. Up on the air by Velasquez, and that's going to go in the student section there. Touch over there, and that's going to go out of bounds. Dartmouth point there. Yeah, that ball flew around the court for the Rangers. Unfortunately, getting it over the net just wasn't in bounds. It's like a pinball game. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Going back and forth from each side. Gabby Velasquez is out. Haley Jenkins is in for Dartmouth. Jenkins to serve. Serving it over the net. Up in the air for Moore. Addison Moore. Great effort there by Anderson, but to no unveil, Dartmouth point. Yeah, of course, trying to dive for that ball, even though it was pretty far away. And the timeout is taken by Dartmouth. Some let's go Dartmouth chance rolling in here as the score is 14 to 13. You gotta like that. The student crowd taking the hour trip from Dartmouth, Massachusetts to Franklin. It's impeccable right now. I I haven't seen like um, both teams showing a lot of school spirit in both sides, you know. Next week's the prep rally and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be loud too, you know. Parents and students, the real MVPs out here. You know, coming all the way out here for this game just shows how much they care about this team. Yeah, kudos to them. Really. This is As time ticks off from the timeout range uh, right now, um, Dartmouth coming in, pretty uh, decent record. They've had an undefeated record so far, I think, so far. Yes, Westboro has had an undefeated record. And, you know, coming in here, as Dartmouth was the underdog, people thought this would be a tougher matchup than all the com competition. As that is true, the Indians have handled it pretty well, keeping a close game, and uh, you know, just highly competitive. Now Haley Jenkins to serve. Now serving it over the net. Jenkins up in the air from Moore. Moore. Now Anderson, touch over. Now Crane to keep it alive. Touch from Augusto, now Jasparo. And that's gonna go as a Dartmouth point. That is inbounds, indeed. Stays Dartmouth is tying it up. Stays in pounds for the Indian point, and the crowd goes wild. Now Haley Jenkins once again to serve for Dartmouth. Now Jenkins to serve, serving it over the net. Touch over from Anderson, and Anderson kill attempt, and that is indeed a kill. Great extraordinary effort there. No, a great setup by the Rangers, great execution on the, on the kill. Tough, tough play for the Indians. Now to serve is Maddie, Maggie Car Carden. Now here's Carden to serve. Serves it over the net. Touch over from Davis. Now Davis kill attempt. Touch over. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point. That went out of bounds, but it touched the Westboro player there. Not much to say on that one. Now is... Now here's Jasparo to serve once again for Dartmouth. Jasparo serving it over the net. 
touch over from Moore. Now touching it over the net. And Clark, kill attempt there, but to no unveil. And Matt, oh, never mind. It's going to be a Westboro point off of Dartmouth. Yeah, that block there by Lauren Augusto just fell out of bounds. Wasn't able to come up for the Indians. Now here is uh, Joyce Lee to serve, and that's going to go out of bounds. I'm not even surprised that Dartmouth's been able to keep a close game here. It's tied up right now. I never viewed him as an underdog. I always viewed this as an equal matchup. Now here's Davis to serve, serving it over the net. Now touch over from Clark. Now Anderson touches it over. And now Ablett keeping it alive. Now Crane kill attempt and a little too far there from Ava Crane. Yeah, a little too hard on that one. Dartmouth with extraordinary effort to keep the ball in play. And uh, just a little too much by Ava Crane on that one. It's a back and forth game as predicted. I predicted this not going, I predicted this game going past three sets. Touch over from Velasquez. Now Crane kill attempt. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Tie game here. Both teams need eight more to win the set. You know, normally I could make a mental prediction on who I think could take this. But with this game tied up like this, going back and forth, I have no idea what's going to happen. No idea either. Now Velasquez serving it over the net aggressively there. Now touch over from Anderson. Now touch from Augusto. Now uh, Jenkins out of bounds there. Sails out. A little too hard there from Haley Jenkins. And those are the ones he wish he could get back, but unfortunately just couldn't come up for the Indians on that play. Now to serve is the libero number two, Addison Moore. Moore to serve. Serving it over the net. And that's going to go out of bounds. A little too hard there from Addison Moore. Now subbing in is Aaron Jasparo for Olivia Arruda. Once again for Dartmouth. Lauren Augusto, folks. Augusto to serve, serving it over the net. Touch over from Anderson. Now touch back up in the air from Capello. Touch up, now Jasparo. Touch up from Clark. Now Davis to Crane. Touch up from Clark, and now Dick Anderson, and that's gonna be in. Oh, that's gonna be out. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> that's gonna be out of bounds. Dartmouth point there. Yeah, very close call on that one, you know. Great execution there, you know. You, you can tell the crowd, some people viewed that as in, but ultimately, play was out of bounds. Now touch over from uh, Clark, and that's gonna be a Westboro point there. Yeah, you can see Unable to get it there, Haley Jenkins. Yeah, you can see Ava Crane has a little bit of frustration after that play. Wishes she could have come up with that ball. Yeah, something that you would dislike there to get. And that's going to be an ace there for Shannon Clark. Now here is, once again, Shannon Clark to serve. Serving it over the net. Touch over from Davis. And great execution there from Augusto, but to no one veil. Augusto, you know, is a hard worker. Always making plays, 100% every single play. Just couldn't come up with that one as the Indians take a timeout. If I'm Coach Lassie right now, I'm going to be saying, um, don't give up. You know, don't give up right now. You know, we got... Another two more, a uh, few more sets after this, you know. You know, in volleyball, it's like boxing. Like, boxing, if you get knocked out uh, in the third round, in volleyball, if you go clean sweep, 3 0, um, in three sets, in boxing, it's kind of like boxing. Like, you get a knockout, it's over. Exactly. And you know, only a two-point lead here for the Rangers. I think that I think Coach Lassie. And if it's in the fifth set, correction. If it's in the fifth set, it's a unanimous decision. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think Coach Lassie <laughs> is here. You know, uh, talking to her team, telling her to stay calm and uh, keep playing as hard as they have. With only a two-point lead, anything can happen here in this first set. Both sides are hyped.
now here to serve is Shannon Clark. Once again for Westboro. Touch over from Davis. Now uh, Jenkins touches it over. Great effort there by uh, Westboro. And the whistle blown. And that's going to be a Westboro point. Point there for Westboro. Very frustrating for the Indians. I think it was out of bounds. Darmouth is pretty disappointed yeah, about that. As you, as you can see, the crowd is not too happy with that call. Oh, that's inbounds. Another point there for the Rangers brings a uh, Another timeout here for Coach Lassie. As you can see, Coach Rachel Lassie is staying positive still throughout all this. You know, some of the players right here might be a little bit discouraged after this uh, this two-point lead increased to a four-point lead, but uh, you know, still staying calm is Coach Lassie telling her team not to give up. Yeah, you know, in sports, coaching matters. That's all you got to do. You know. Here comes that immense crowd support with the "Here We Go Dartmouth" chant, courtesy of our very amazing Indian fans. Usually, I have excitement right now for Dartmouth if they're leading, mm -hmm. but so far. I don't get the excitement. I don't have the excitement's not in the air right now for me. Now to serve is Shannon Clark once again for Westboro. Dartmouth ho hoping to come back here with a tight score. Serves it over, and that's going to be out of bounds. 20 to 23, Dartmouth trails by three in the first set of this game. Out of bounds by the Rangers there. Could be a spark for the Indians. Serves it up in the air from Crane. And that's going to go out of bounds. Dartmouth point. Couldn't to get, can't keep it alive for Westboro. Yeah, that ball sailed out of bounds off of number two Addison Moore's hands right into the crowd. The now. Ava Crane a serve up in the air from Capello. Touch over. Now kill attempt, and that's going to go as it stands. Ava Crane trying to get to the ball there, was not able to. Goes for a beautiful kill for the Rangers. That was Georgia Tyrell there. Substitution change coming in. Number three, Kate Capello coming in for. Uh, Kate Capello coming out, excuse me, for number four, Emily Coffley. Match point here for the Rangers, by the way, folks. Touch over from uh, now serving it over. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Great execution there by Aaron Gisparo. Beautiful, beautiful block by the Indians, especially number nine, Aaron Gisparo coming up with that. Leads to the Indians' point. Isn't it like the two point rule if they are like close with two points? Like, one team has to win with more than two points in a set. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Look at that as Westboro comes up with, can't come up with the ball there. Dartmouth looking for hopefully not a, hoping a chance to not get a Westboro getting this point here. Now to serve as Jenkins, serving it over the net there, up in the air from Addison Moore. Now kill attempt there, up in the air for Davis. Now Jaspero touches it over. Now touch over from Clark. Now Anderson kill attempt, and that's going to go as a uh, Westboro point, and they get the first set there. Westboro takes the first set, and, uh, and a blocked attempt that failed. Close game, though, 25 to 23 at the end of your first set. Indians haven't given up at all, and um, both teams have played incredibly well and incredibly competitive in this first set, and I imagine it will stay that way going forward. Hopefully Coach Lassie um, has more strategies coming into this next set. And they looked pretty decent in the first set. You know, they're the number one team. It's like they're the number one team in the uh, in the Division Two in the state. You know, and Dartmouth uh, two is number four. Um, anything can happen today. You know, Final Four, even in uh, back. Even in uh, basketball, when it's the uh, um, final four in the um, NCAA um, 
it's pretty much, you know, anything could happen. You've seen what Duke, what happened last year to Duke in the Final Four. They of lost to North Carolina. And Villanova um, was supposed to be the team. Mm -hmm. um, lost to um, Kansas. Because the Jay Jayhawks took it all that year. And they won last night with a, a pretty good, awesome matchup against Duke, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course. They beat Duke last night as well. The We Are Dartmouth chants are coming out. Indians huddling up here, maybe drawing up a new game plan for the second set, possibly, or uh, sticking with the same game plan. We'll have to see. <laughs> so with 122 left remaining, uh, we'll take a quick little break here, um, and we'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. And welcome back, folks. Uh, so far in the first set, um, Westboro is leading uh, the Dartmouth Indians one to nothing so far. Thoughts on the first set, Will? Oh, highly competitive, amazing volleyball. These are two of the best teams right here playing volleyball for everyone's enjoyment. Yeah, and this is a greatly highly contested match matchup right here. You know, the Indians lost a close first set. I'm thinking hopefully this set, they will come back even stronger than they did in the first set. Yeah, I And hope accept so. the same competitive level. Now here's forward. Crane to serve it over the net. Touch over from uh, Moore. Now Anderson, kill attempt, and that's going to go as a point there for Westboro. Ava Crane couldn't get that. Westboro's been striking with these kills here. Just absolute bullets going down in Dartmouth's court. Yeah, they have a perfect striker on that team, um, including Quinn Anderson. Uh, touch over from Jasparo. Now Davis, and that's going to go under the net there, and that's going to be a that's going to be a Westboro point there. Honestly, you know, I'm honestly scared for uh, to whenever see whenever I see uh, Quinn Anderson serve. I'm I'm afraid to see what's going to happen next from her. Because, you know, she's got a lot of magic. But anyways, that's a point for Dartmouth. That sails out of bounds there. Yeah, that ball was hit a little bit too hard. Smacked against the, the wall there. Now, Ava, uh, correction, Haley Jenkins to serve. Serves it over the net. And that's going to be out of bounds. Westboro point there. Velasquez comes in for Jenkins. Back-to-back -back out of bounds serves there from both teams. Isn't that funny? The here we go Dartmouth chants are abrupting. Now to serve is uh, Caroline Brochane. Touch over from uh, Augusto. Now Ablett hits the net there, and that is going to be a Westboro point. Three point lead here for the Rangers. You know, I don't think Dartmouth's sweating at all here, worrying it's very early here in the second set. Serving it over the net there was Brochane. And now uh, Davis touches it over. Now from Ablett, and Ablett, great execution there. You know, Ablett playing that middle front. She gets up high right there for the little tap right over the net. Comes up as a point for the Indians. Now here's Aaron Jasparo to serve for Dartmouth. 
Jasparo to serve, serving it over the net there. Touch up, uh, a little confusion there. Now Anderson to serve. Augusto, now to Davis, touches it over there. Now, uh, uh, and that's gonna go out of bounds there. A little too hard there. Yeah. Alaska is trying to chase it down. Ball sails off Aaron Jasper's hands there for a Westboro Rangers point. Now here to serve is Quinn Anderson once again to serve. Now Davis, kill attempt there, off of uh, Moore there, and that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. Great execution there for uh, Westboro, but to no avail. Man, wonderful play there, you know, by both teams. Once again, it's Brooke Davis to serve, serves it over the net, touches it over, up in the air from uh, Clark. Now Augusto, now to Ablett with the wingspan, and unable to get it, but uh, Davis to serve it up. Now Ablett serves it inbounds, and uh, keeping the ball alive, here's Anderson, kill attempt up in the air, now Cabral, Aruda, excuse me, Keeping it alive, what a great execution. Now touch, kill attempt, and that's gonna be a kill for Westboro. My gosh, how about the effort there from both Annabelle teams? Annabelle Semeter. You know, the ball almost went out of bounds for both teams on each side. Both teams never, ever gave up on the play. Kept it in bounds, went back and forth, but ultimately the Rangers take the point off a nice kill. Now here is Alyssa, M Addison Moore, excuse me, to serve it, and that's a little too hard there for more, and that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. Six to, six to four Dartmouth. You know, still with this two point lead close game, Dartmouth keeping it, keeping it competitive, keeping it close. Can't ask for much more. Now here's Velasquez to serve, serving it over the net. Touch over there, and now kill attempt there, and that's gonna be a kill. Velasquez couldn't get it. Uh, Capello, good kill there. Once again to serve is uh, Clark, and serving it over the net, Davis on the touch. Now here is Crank. Maybe a little, mis little bit of miscommunication there by the Indians, as you might have saw in that play. Brooke Davis and Yabby Laskas almost collided there, and then the ball was not even brought over, by, over the net by the Indians. Coach Lassie uh, talking to her team right now. Touch over from Augusto, and that's gonna be inbound. And that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. Yeah, beautiful little touch right over the net. And we Westboro. typically don't see that from her, mm -hmm. usually. Westboro just wasn't able to come up with the ball, even though there was some great effort displayed. Now here is uh, Lauren Augusto once again to serve. Serves it over the net there. Touch up, now Clark. And Clark on a touch over, and that's gonna be a point there for Westboro. I keep getting mixed up with Middleboro and Westboro. Like, yeah. I don't know why. I could be saying Marlboro. <laughs> Westboro didn't take that far of a drive today. No, yeah. they did not. It was a half hour drive up in the air and that's gonna be a Westboro point. So it was right off the hands of number 22, Brooke Davis. Uh, almost, it almost went to the, the second deck there. Um, as you can see, she says, my bad. Now, once again to serve is uh, number four, Emily Coffley serving it over the net. Velasquez touches it over. Now to Sparrow, kill attempt. And that's going to be off the hands there. And that's going to be a point for Dartmouth. Yeah, number 17 there for the Westboro Rangers. Georgia, Georgia Tyrell. Tyrell. He's not able to come up with that ball. <laughs> um, now Ava Crane once again to serve for Dartmouth. Now Crane to serve, serves it over the net, and that's gonna be out of bounds. A little too hard there from Ava Crane. Yeah, a little too much on that one, just wasn't able to keep it in play. You know, right after this volleyball season, we won't see Ava Crane, uh, we will see Ava Crane play another sport. You know, basketball's coming up, she's a great basketball player as well. Um, and touch over, and that's gonna be a point for Westboro. 
Absolutely beautiful block there, courtesy of number 14, Quinn Anderson on the Rangers. Uh, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful execution on that play. That's the point for the Rangers. And the Indians have half of the Rangers score Maggie here. Maggie Carden to, to serve. Serving it over the net there. And that's gonna go out of bounds. 12 to seven, Dartmouth. Now once again, here is Haley Jenkins once again to serve for Dartmouth. Serving it over the net there, touch over from Anderson. And touching it over from Tyrell and great execution there from Jasparo, but that is gonna be a Westboro point there. Yeah, Aaron Jasparo showed some great effort there along with the rest of the Indians team. She wasn't able to come up with the ball. As you can hear those Let's Go Rangers chants rolling in here, courtesy of the Westboro crowd. Um, that's one you should hate if you're Ava Crane right now. Mm -hmm. I think she should have hit it up in the air. You know, great eyes, but you know, yes. could have just served it up in the air there. A little bit trash talking between both sides. Now Ablett. And now here is Jasparo, quiets the Rangers side. Beautiful teamwork there by the Indians from Gabby Velasquez to Lauren Augusto, and Aaron Jasparo finishing it off with the kill there for the Indians point. Now here once again is Aaron Jasparo once again to serve for Dartmouth. Serves it over the net there, touched up. Now whistle blown and that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. That would have been a, an almost kill there. Um, Quinn Anderson there, almost kill, got a kill there for uh, Westboro. Of course. Jasparo once again to serve for Dartmouth. Serving it over the net there, touched over from Capello. Now Anderson from uh, Davis. Now Applett touches it up and that's gonna be a Westboro point. And another beautiful block there from Westboro's number 14, Quinn Anderson. Rangers come up with these beautiful blocks, stuffing the Indians. Now once again to serve is Quinn Anderson for uh, Westboro. Serves it over the net there, and that will go up. And Davis, touch over from Clark. Now Davis again, now from Crane to Anderson. Touch up for, from Clark, kill attempt up in the air, and that's gonna be a point there for uh, Westboro. Great execution there um, for by number 10, um, Annabelle Semeter. Yeah, off the hands of number 13, Gabby Velasquez, but the Indians still showed great effort keeping the ball in play for most of the set. Serving it over the net there, touch over from uh, Aruda. Now, uh, Kill attempt there, and great execution up in the air from Augusto. Now uh, Davis touches it up. And that whistle blown, and that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. Man, the teamwork is on point here for the Indians, going back and forth from each player, running around the court. You can see that the Indians really want it, especially after losing that first set. Yeah, the whole crowd is hungry right now, and that's gonna go out of bounds. A little too hard by Brooke Davis there. Now, once again to serve um, for Middleborough is Annabelle Semeter. Semeter, excuse me. Now Semeter to serve, serves it over the net, and that's gonna go a little too far there. Out of bounds, and that will be a Dartmouth point. Yeah, just too much on that one. Wasn't able to keep it in play. Now here's Velasquez to serve, serves it over the net. Touches it over from Clark. Now kill attempt up in the air and that's gonna be a point for Westboro. Yeah, the ball sails out of bounds there for the Indians. Wasn't able to keep them play. Those are the plays that Dartmouth really wants back. Those plays where it just goes off your hands, not in the right direction. Now here to serve is Clark. Now uh, Augusto to uh, Jenkins. Up in the air from Davis from Velasquez, serves it up. Now from uh, Anderson. Kill attempt here from Tyrell, unable to get it. 
Now touch over in the air. Now Capello to serve it over. Up. Now here's Crane. Kill attempt. And that is going to go as a point for Dartmouth. Wonderful execution there. Ava Crane. Ava Crane got up high there for the, for the kill attempt. And West Brown just wasn't able to keep it in play. Off their hands goes as an Indian's point. Cutting it to a six point leap. Now here is Morin Augusto once again to serve for Dartmouth. Serving it over the net. Touch over from Clark. Kill attempt, unable to get it there. And that's gonna be a Dartmouth point once again. Uh, Tyre Georgia Tyrell couldn't get that. Now what to go, once again to serve is Lauren Augusto. Augusto serves it over the net. Touches it over there, Clark now trying to get that answer back. Uh, unable to get it, but Crane a little bit too hard there from Ava Crane. Man, too much on that one. The sails right out of bounds. Now here's Emily Coffey to serve. Now Coffey serves it over the net, touches it over by uh, Jasparo, and that's going to be a point for Westboro. As you can see, the ref ran out of the way there. He didn't want to get hit by the ball. It was pretty funny. Referee interference there. And the Indians will take a timeout here. Seven point lead for the Rangers. You know, if I'm, if I'm, you know, right now, if I'm Coach Lassie, if this game ends today, you know, all I got to say is I, I'm proud of this team. You know, they fought all year long and made it for the first time in school history to the final four. Yeah, you couldn't be any prouder of this team and what they've come through. You know, each player, each teammate, Playing their heart out. Yeah. With great communication, they great teamwork. They put their blood, sweat, and tears 24-7, 365. Um, even, even in the offseason, you know, Coach Lassie has her offseason programs at um, the high school. Mm -hmm. um, usually for one week in, like, the middle of August. Um, one year I was able to, um, one year I was able to, like, uh, when I did freshman orientation, um, they were there uh, practicing. So Coach Lassie, this is a year-long thing for her. Um, yeah, it just shows that the team is dedicated to winning, and that's all they want. That's the end goal, and they're not here to give up. Now, once again, a serve. Here is um, Coffee, and that goes in bounds, and that's going to be touched over the net there in a little bit. Confusion there, and Dartmouth is not liking that. Yeah, that looked, that looked out of bounds to me, but uh, point goes to the Rangers. Emily Coffey once again to serve. Serving it over the net, up in the air, and Jasparo couldn't get that up. Man, what is going on with Dartmouth? I don't know. A little bit of frustration here from the Indians, but I'm sure they'll be doing just fine. Don't want to crack under pressure here. Now serving it over the net uh, there. Touches it over. Now Ava Crane. Kill attempt from Ava Crane. Beautiful kill there from Ava Crane. Point goes to the Indians. A much needed point right there. I meant to say kill by Ava Crane. Now here's Ava Crane once again to serve. Touch up there from Clark. Touches it up, and that's going to go off the hands. And that's going to go as a Westboro point. As Coach Lassie calls another timeout there. The Indians huddle up. 23 for the Westboro Rangers and 14 for the Dartmouth Indians. Hopefully the Indians, after this timeout, can pull out a miracle. Look, there, the this set. game was highly expected, I think. Uh, I was, think, I was expecting this game to not be like more of Dartmouth's way mm -hmm. uh, because I've watched film on uh, Westboro so far. Of course, you, you and me both. You know, you've seen this undefeated season that Westboro's created here. You know, they're the number one team for a reason, and it was never an easy matchup for Dartmouth coming in here. We all knew it would be highly competitive and full of, full of lots of competitive volleyball. 
the excitement's not in the air here for Dartmouth so far, you know. I wouldn't say anything bad about Dartmouth so far, but they're playing, they're working their hearts out right now. Mm -hmm. Once again, a serve is number 16, Georgia Tyrell. Tyrell to serve, serves it over the net, touches over from Velasquez. Now Crane um, touching it over there from Davis. Now execution there for, uh, for Quinn Anderson, serving it over the net, batted up in the air, and that's going to be a Westboro point. But I'd like to highlight that beautiful save there by Gabby Velasquez to keep the ball in play. Really got down for that ball, and uh, unfortunately, the Indians run to come to the point as it's match point here for the Westboro Rangers with the 10 point lead. Now to serve is um, Maggie Carden, and that will hit the uh, net, and that will be a Dartmouth point. Yeah, that one just didn't make it over the net. Haven't seen that in a minute here from the Rangers. Yeah. Haley Jenkins again to serve for Dartmouth. Hopefully, next set, Dartmouth tries to get a set win, but serving it over the net there, touches it over. Now kill attempt up in the air from Ablett, and that's gonna hit the net again. Dar Dartmouth keeping it alive. Kill attempt from Anderson, touches it over from Augusto, now Davis. And now touching it over the net, and Crane couldn't keep that alive, and that's gonna be a set point for uh, Westboro. At the end of this set, it's gonna be a Dartmouth uh, trailing two to nothing. 25 this is getting ugly. Your final score for set two, 10 point lead there for the Westboro Rangers. And uh, going into set three, I'd imagine the Indians are just gonna switch it up now, try and have some fun here, and, uh, and create a nice, nice game plan for a win. Yeah. Um, We'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back. And we'll welcome you all. And we're back, folks, uh, in the third set here. Um, pretty ugly one so far for Dartmouth. Um, they're working their hearts out, but let's see what they can do this set. Yeah, that second set, a rough one for the Indians with a 10-point loss there. 
after a very highly competitive first set. Let's hope they can go back to that competitiveness and uh, keep this one close in this third set and get a win. Um, I was able, um, I got a message, uh, and Dr. Gifford's watching, our wonderful superintendent of Dartmouth. Mm. Um, quick shout sh little shout out to her for saying that excellent message, saying that we're doing a very good job so far. Also, quick shout out to our media teacher, Mr. Robert Perotti, for uh, the kind words that he's given us. Now touch over, now uh, Crane touches it over. Now Clark, kill attempt, Capello, and that's going to be Dartmouth. Point there. Great execution to start off this set for Dartmouth. That's what the Indians needed right there. That's what they needed last set. That's what they start off this set with. Hopefully we can see, keep seeing that going forward. Now, once again, Haley Jenkins to serve. Serves it over the net there. Jenkins touches it over. Now, a touch over from Tyrell. And more from Clark. Now Tyrell again touches it over, unable to get it. Now Davis touches it over the net there, and that's going to be a point for uh, Westboro. Another close competitive round right there from both teams. Westboro comes up with the point. Pass it 1-1 in this third set. Now to serve is number four, Emily Coffey. Emily Coffey to serve. Serves it over the net there. Touches it over from Augusto. Now Ablett touches it over the net. Um, getting an inbounds there. And now a kill attempt from Anderson. Touches it over there from Ablett. And that will be a Dartmouth point. Beautiful block there by the Indians. Keeping in bounds. You love to see it. Now to serve is number nine, Aaron Jasparo. Just Sparrow to serve. Serving it over the net there. Touches it over from uh, Moore. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Once again, Dartmouth, great start to this third set. 3-1 here, two-point lead. I'm loving what the Indians are doing here. Now here is Aaron Jasparrow once again to serve for Dartmouth. Jasparrow serves it over the net. And that's going to be a Dartmouth point. Aaron Jasparrow using that. Ace weapon there. The crowd is hype. It's going pretty well for the Indians' first set. Let's hope it keeps going well yeah. going forward. Serving it over the net now. Uh, Moore touches it over. Now uh, Anderson gets the point there for uh, Westboro. And the substitution here at number four, Olivia Ruta coming in for number nine, Aaron Sparrow. This is a beautiful school, you know. Uh, Franklin High School is a beautiful, very beautiful school. Reminds, gives me a lot of, um, reminds me of Somerset Berkeley. Even the entrances walking in here, like the upstairs, it reminds me of Somerset Berkeley a little bit. Even it. the back court over there too. And that's going to be a, uh, once again, a point for Westboro. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you, Ben. This, this court is amazing. The school is amazing. Shout out Franklin High School in Franklin, Massachusetts. Excellent school, uh, Franklin Panthers. Served up in the air, now uh, up there, and that's going to be a point for uh, Westboro. Four to four, tie game. Quinn um, Anderson coming up with another huge block for the Panthers. I mean, excuse me, Panthers. It's the Rangers, as uh, as Westboro takes the point there. You got mixed up with Franklin. And, yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> I almost said that in the beginning. Now Davis serves it over the net and up in the air from Capello. Touches it over from Anderson. Now Aruda keeps it in bounds. Now Davis keeps it in play, but Dartmouth will not get a point there. Great execution there from Aaron, just correction, uh, Brooke Davis. Lulz. Oh, once again, another trash talking from uh, Westboro there. Over the net, touches it over. Now, Ablett touches it over again from uh, Tyrell. Over the net, now Crane keeps it alive. And great execution, but that's going to end up, at the end of the day, a Rangers point. Yeah, you highlight that that save there from Olivia Ruta, keeping it in bounds. You know, Dartmouth, great teamwork. Wonderful execution the there from Olivia Ruta. Now to serve, oh, correct. go ahead. 
the point comes up for the Panthers. Uh, I mean, Panthers, oh my gosh. The Rangers. <laughs> Staring at the Panthers, you know, on the end of the court. Now here is the serve here from uh, Cardown. Serves it over, and that's going to be a beautiful kill there for Gabby Velasquez. Yeah, great play there by the Indians. You know, right in the right in the middle of the court. Rangers weren't able to get to it. To no avail. Now to serve is uh, Brooke Davis. Touches up. And kill attempt from Tyrell, and that's going to be out of bounds. Tip there uh, from Adeline Ablett. You know, the Indians are showing great competitive play, and, you know, it shows that they really do want this set. They want to win this game, and uh, the Rangers are giving them a tough time here. Is Westboro doing the tomahawk chop? Because I think they were a little too hard there for Ava Crane, and that's going to be a point mm -hmm. for uh, Dartmouth. Uh, Westboro, excuse me. Yeah. Because when they move that motion, um, that might that be what it was. Oh, and that's going to hit off the head of uh, Olivia Ruda, um, and that will be a point for Westboro. That's a tough one for the Indians, you know. Just another point where it's like the Rangers are getting it right at the edge of the court. It was like Indians watching soccer for a play. second. Um, yeah. Now Aruda touches it up in the air. Now great execution there for Velasquez, serving it over the net, and great save, though. Now touches it over, and that's going to go out of bounds. That's Dartmouth point. Nine to six. Dartmouth is trailing by three. A couple of collisions there almost from both teams on that last play. Almost. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication on who had the ball there. Once again, last year, Dartmouth hosted the final four uh, for Dennis Yarmouth and Bet Bedford. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was the final four of the Elite Eight, but they um, but it, they hosted it, and it was a great matchup. I remember watching it um, on live television. Now to serve. Now Crane uh, serves it over the net there. Touch over from Clark. Now Crane gets it again. Touch over from Augusto. Keep it alive from uh, Clark. Now Crane hits it over the net, and that's going to go out of bounds. Although the Indians may be having a couple of balls where it goes out of bounds, you have to highlight the teamwork that they're putting in, the communication that they have, everyone making plays for the ball. Now to serve is Quinn Anderson. Anderson to serve, serves it <coughs> over the net there. Um, now touch over from Augusto. Now Crane hits it over the net. Touches it over. Now Jenkins, a beautiful play there from Jenkins on the touch, and that goes in bounds. That was a beautiful touch there by Jenkins and a beautiful play by the Indians all around. Yeah. Everyone getting the ball there. Great communication, which they've been showing, you know, keeping it throughout in this third set. Darmouth keeping it alive. Touching it over. Now Velasquez up in the air there. Velasquez again, serves it over the net, touching it over there. Uh, Clark, now kill attempt there, unable to get it there from Semeter. And now Jenkins touches it over, uh, and unable to get a kill there for Jenkins. Uh, but Tyrell hits it over the net, touches it over from Davis. Now Jaspero up in the air from uh, Anderson, touches it over again, and that is great execution there for both sides. How Serving it over the net, and Crane gets that in play, and that's going to be a Dartmouth point. I've Good execution there by Addison Moore. I've said it once. I'm about to say it again. I'll keep saying it. The effort from both teams is immaculate. You know, going back and forth there, never gave up on the ball, yeah. and the Indians are able to come up with the point. Highly competitive game so far. Now serve it over. Now Clark touches it over up in the air from Davis, touching it over again. And Dartmouth keeping it alive from Ava Crane. Whistle blown, and that's going to be a Westboro point. Man. You can see the frustration from all the girls on the court there. You know, at the end of the day, the effort they put in doesn't go their way. Point goes to the Rangers on that one, but, man, they really wish they could have had that one. A little bit of smack talking once again for the Rangers on both sides. And that is going to be a point for Westboro. 
And a collision there between number 22, Brooke Davis, and number 13, Gabby Velasquez, may have uh, led to that ball going out of bounds for the Indians. Touch over from Jaspera, and that's going to go out of bounds. Wow, this is not looking good for Dartmouth. Yeah, the Rangers may seem to start pulling away here. Let's hope the Indians can still keep it close. Only a five-point lead for the Rangers, but let's hope the let's hope the Indians can cut that down. Now here to serve is number two, Addison Moore. Here's Moore to serve. Serve it over the net. They are touched over from Velasquez. Now touching it over Jenkins. Up in the air there. Now serving it up. Now touch over from uh, Augusto and collision there between Velasquez and Crane, but that's going to be a Westboro point. Although the effort's great and the teamwork is awesome, the miscommunication has been a problem for the Indians here. A couple of collisions lead, leads to the ball going out of bounds. Now serving it over. Touch over from uh, Velasquez. Augusto touches it over. Now just Sparrow unable to get a kill there. But kill attempt from uh, Quinn Anderson, and that's going to be a Westboro point. Goes off the hands of number one, Lauren Augusto. She's extremely frustrated as Coach Rachel Lassie calls a timeout. The Westboro crowd is roaring. 15 to 8 is their score right now in set three. Man, oh man, the Indians need to work something out here. I don't know. This, I, I think this was a highly predicted game, and I, it was really expected uh, by both sides. But uh, once again, Dartmouth so far um, trailing by seven. And this is not looking pretty good so far. No. Westboro is having fun with their crowd there as the Indians are all locked in focused. Hoping to work something out here to take this third set. Can't blame Dartmouth. They, they're the number four seed. Uh, win it. Uh, I didn't predict Dartmouth win it going that far so far this year. Yeah. But great, extraordinary effort there for uh, um, Dartmouth this season. They've grown a lot throughout the past few years. Um, with Coach Lassie in her program, had Sorrell Lawton at one point, um, your sister as well, Hannah Bouvier. Of course. All, all those players who have now are moved on to an intercollegiate level right now. Um, coach Lassie, phenomenal head coach as well. Shout, Petro, out, shout out to her with those great teams she's put together. Yeah. It's like watching Alabama from the uh, volleyball. Of course. Alabama football as a volleyball team. If Alabama football were a volleyball team, this would be Dartmouth. Now Crane, kill attempt. Oh, another kill, almost another kill from Ava Crane, but keeping it alive is Anderson. Keep, keep it alive there, touch over. Now Jenkins, almost another kill there for Jenkins. Up in the air, and that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. Wonderful play there by both teams. I mean, the effort was immaculate, you know, going back and forth. Indians end up with a much needed point there. Ava Crane to serve. Let's hope the Indians can make something happen here. I'm hoping they can right now. Um, Crane up in the air from Clark. Now uh, a kill there for uh, Westboro. Um, Maggie Carden. Man, uh, just a wide open gap there is where the ball landed. No one on the Indians could come, come up and get it. Once again, a serve is... Uh, Clark, and that's going to hit the net as a Dartmouth point. Six point game so far. Um, Dartmouth trailing. Now, once again, Haley Jenkins to serve. Jenkins to serve, serves it over the net there. Almost another ace there from Jenkins, but um, Moore couldn't get up there. Now, Ablett, kill attempt up in the air, and that's going to go as a point for Dartmouth. Great execution from Adeline Ablett. Yeah, the Indians were really, you know, locked in there on that play. Made something happen for a much-needed point. Cut into a five-point lead here. And the Dartmouth chant is going out. Um, and that's going to be a point there for... Uh, and the, once again, the Tomahawk... Yeah, the Westboro's West bringing in the scoreboard cheers. 
to show that they are leading in this game. Florida uh, Seminoles, Florida State Seminoles chant there, um, and Kansas City Chiefs chant as well. Of course. Folks, both I, mean, I have a hard dislike for both teams <laughs> and you too. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Folks, if you weren't able to tell me and Ben are big college and NFL fans here when it comes to football. Yeah, so far not too good for my Alabama uh, Crimson Tide. You know, two yeah. straight losses to Tennessee and uh, LSU. Yeah, and my team, the Miami Hurricanes, shout out them. Not Jason too good this Fran, season. Uh, Jason Van Dyke, right? Yeah. Is the quarterback? Uh, Tyler Van Dyke, yeah. Tyler Van Dyke. Yeah. Is the Rangers get? Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Names get the point there. Six point lead here for the Rangers, 18 12. Aaron Gisparo to serve for the Indians. Aaron Gisparo to serve. Once again, Gisparo serves it over the net there. Touch over from Moore, the libero. And Capello keeping it alive. And that's going to go a little too hard there and out of bounds. Sails out of bounds here. Quinn Anderson couldn't get it up there. You know, five point lead here. I'm hoping the Indians can make something happen. They really need to. Now here's your Sparrow to serve. Serves it over the net. Touches it over, and that's going to go out of bounds. Great eyes there from Warren Augusto. Once again, a serve is number nine, Aaron Jaspero. Four point lead. Let's see what the Indians can do here. Hopefully, a nice little comeback. A let's go Dartmouth chant is erupted here at the Franklin High School uh, Gymnasium. Serving it over the net, you now Crane touches it over. Now Ablett, and now Davis touches it up again. And uh, Anderson trying to keep it alive. And able to, now uh, Ablett touch over and that hits the net, but they're gonna call a whistle and that's gonna be a Dartmouth point. That hit the net there, so great eyes there by the referee. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this. I've seen both teams Two wonderful blocks there by the Westboro Rangers as they're going to call a timeout right now. Timeout there, and the Dartmouth side is not giving up so far. Dartmouth had a nice little comeback there, cut it down to a three-point lead. Your score is 18-15 here in the third set. Coach Rachel Lassie over here giving some encouragement to the Indians as they huddle up, hopefully working on this comeback to take this set. Both sides are, ha are having a good time right now. And even the football team, most of these players from the Dartmouth football team are here, um, including quarterback Jackson Hart. Um, we're going to be interviewing him soon and Coach White. Of course. Um, Show be coming out next week, DHS Sports Center. Some some very uh, notable Dartmouth High School staff members here. Shout out Mr. Coogan, Mr. Tebow, Mr. Shea, Mr. Mr. Tebow, Mr. Our past principal at Dartmouth High School. Of course. Um, touch over there from uh, Davis. Touches over, and that is going to be a Dartmouth point. Uh, correction, a Westboro point. That's off of uh, Velasquez there. Yeah, sails off the hands of Velasquez. Not much you can do on that one. Westboro takes the point, stopping that little run the Indians had there, bringing it back up to a four-point lead. And right now, here is to serve uh, number 16. Ma Maddie, Maggie Carden hits the net there, and that's going to be a point there for Dartmouth. A tough one there on the Rangers, you know. Those aren't the serves you want to have in this type of game. Normally, you just want to finish it out. Now here's the serve over there. Uh, now up in the air. Touch over from uh, Anderson. Now Crane again. Crane hits it over the net there. Touch over. Hits uh, by Crane. Touches over by Crane on the block there. Now Crane again. Kill attempt. Unable to get it. The libero gets it there for uh, middle West Barrow there. And that's going to be a point there. <sighs> Number 14, Quinn Anderson with a beautiful, beautiful kill there. Keeps it in bounds. And not much the Indians could do on that one. Four point lead as the Westboro Rangers hit 20. Dartmouth at 16, four point lead. Let's 
serves it over the net there is Washington. And that is going to be another point for uh, Dartmouth. Uh, correction, Westboro. This game is kind of getting, not going Dartmouth's way so far. Touch over now. Crane, kill attempt there. Touch, unable to get it. Now kill attempt from Anderson. That's going to go uh, as a point there for uh, Dartmouth. And Coach Lassie calls a timeout. And three more points for the Rangers a little in this third set. Coach Lass is here giving some words of encouragement to the Indians. They can keep this together, and they can win this set. I believe they can. And I know you guys, the viewers at home, you believe they can win it too. Time ticks out on the timeout rank. Uh, Dartmouth looking for what to do here next. Um, this time ticks down from three seconds, two seconds, and then we're back in action here. Now to serve is number eight, uh, Caroline Brochain. Brochain. Serves it over the net there. Touches it over. Now Ablett. And that's a little too hard for Ablett. You know, it's one of those plays the Indians really wish they could have back in this moment. You know, you can't afford those plays where you're going to sail the ball right out of bounds. Now here's a serve over there for uh, Westboro. Touches it up in the air from Ablett. Now touching it back over. Kill attempt. And that's going to be a kill there for Anderson. One point away for winning this. Quinn Anderson with a beautiful kill there. The Westboro crowd erupts. Eight point lead there. Let's see what Dartmouth can do. I don't know if they have anything to do now, you know. They're, this game's pretty much sealed. Now here's a serve over up in the air there from Davis. Whistle blown and they're going to the national uh, state championship. That'll do it. That'll do it in the third set. 25 for the Westboro Rangers, 16 for the Dartmouth Indians. And that will end. I don't know why they whistled that. Pick. Tough game. Oh, man. This is tough here. This is tough here. You know, it is. the Dartmouth Indians, you can see the crowd's reactions are just, everyone is all out of it. This is, this is heartbreaking, but. You have to think of the run that this Indians team has had and what they've done. You, you can't get discouraged. This is just, this team was, this team was, he was destined for greatness. And with uh, Westboro, they're going to the state championship with the number one seed. Hats off to Westboro, man. Incredible team, undefeated. Hats off. And with that, folks, that will end this season for the volleyball. Um, and let's my, see what Coach Lassie does next year. You know, my final volleyball game. This was a, uh, yeah. so this was a joy to do volleyball. We'll see what's next up for Coach, me and Ben. But uh, you want one more word to say uh, to sign off? Shout out to this Indians team. That's that's just what I gotta say. You know, incredible run. We love all of them. They'll be back next year. All right, folks, and Dartmouth ends up losing this one three to nothing. I'm Ben Smith, and we'll move your side. Until then, so long. See you everybody. guys.